Hey, this is Emily with the Wix Collective. I've gotten a lot of questions about imagery sizing for your website. And previously, I would just say, don't worry about it because there wasn't a lot of restriction when it came to how much information you could upload to your images folder on Wix. And then Wix would automatically resize that image for use on your site. So it looked great, but it wasn't so large that it took a long time to load for your users. But some of that has changed. So now Wix is charging more for having more like space in your images folder. So I'm trying to help my clients kind of clean up their images folders and not have to pay extra just to store large photos. So today I'm gonna to take you through the process of resizing your images. It's a very easy. And a lot of these images started out as like 3.7 megabytes and ended up at 1.2 megabytes. So that's quite a decrease and they still look good. And what's really cool is we're actually going to use Wix to resize our photos. They have a free resizing tool. So let's get started. Share my screen with you, Google Chrome, just, I'm going to share the link here in the description below. It's the Wix free image resizer. So I'm going to click on this, scroll down here, resize your images, use them anywhere. I'm just going to select six images at once. So select images. And then I have a folder of Adobe stock photos. Some of them, they range from 2.1 megabytes to 10.8 megabytes. And then I'm going to open them here. So this is where it gets a little bit complex and hopefully I can describe this so that it makes sense. So I looked up the minimum and the max, well, the minimum requirements for Wix is 800 pixels wide. Um, hang on, uh, 800 pixels wide. Let me make sure that I say this correctly. Okay, so for large images you're going to use like across the screen to span the whole screen like an entire section those need to be 2500 pixels wide and then any other photos like if you have like a staff page with like bios and like the smaller images of people's faces those need to be 800 pixels wide so here you can see that these are like 4900 pixels wide so even if we would just downgrade those to 2,000 or 2,500, it's going to significantly decrease the size of the file. So right now I'm just gonna assume that I'm gonna use all of these for full width and I'm going to change it to 2,500, okay? And then I'm going to leave the height alone and it's gonna automatically resize percentage 100% and then I want to change everything to JPEG with resize images. It's going to load and then I'm going to be able to download them. Download them. So I'm going to download all. And then I'm going to open up my downloads folder here and I'm going to see if I can share this with you. I'm not exactly sure that I can. Okay. Yes. Stop share, share screen my downloads. So these all went from the largest being 10 to some smaller images here. And see, they look, they look pretty good. I hope you can see that when I open them up. I'm not sure you can, so I'm just going to open them up here in this little finder. But they still look like really good images, but they're a fraction of the size, okay? So 2,500 pixels is still good enough for them to be stretched across the screen. Now, again, I want you to remember, you have to use your own brain sometimes. If it looks a little bit fuzzy to you, go ahead and maybe just make the sacrifice of space and upload the full resolution image and allow Wix to decompress it, okay, or to compress it, okay? That's just a tip or trick that you can use. Um, again, 2,500 for full length of website, full width of website, and then 800 pixels, um, will be good for like smaller photos used throughout the site. I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And um, also I do want to mention that you can see how your site storage is coming along. You can see how much space you've used. I'm gonna open my editor here and I'm gonna show you where you find that. So here, let me share my screen with you, Google Chrome. Again, use Google Chrome because it's the least glitchy with Wix. So here I'm gonna click add image. I'm gonna look in my images here. 
and I can see in my bottom left hand corner, I've used 21.1 gigabytes out of 50. So I'm about halfway there. Um, that's where you're going to see that. So I hope that that's helpful to you. I know that there's a lot of confusion surrounding this topic. So again, if you have any questions, please feel free to pop them here in the comments below. Maybe I'll make some more videos if there's enough questions on a certain topic, but I, I really hope this is helpful to you. Again, if you're interested in learning more about the basics of setting up a Wix website from someone that has done it for a while and someone who's not paid by Wix, I'm not even a... I don't even have, I'm not even listed on the Wix marketplace as um, a designer. So I'm just kind of a uninvolved third party, <laughs> but I love Wix. And so I've created a Wix roadmap basics course, teaching people how to set up a basic homepage. So I'd love to have you there. If you're interested, go to the Wix and click on the Wix roadmap. Thank you.